In this video, I'll be showing you how to insert a graph and add a trend line on your screen. You see data that I have previously discussed in my forecasting video. To insert a graph, select the sales revenue, go to insert and pick the type of chart you want to use. In this particular case, I'll be using a 2D line chart. Now I'm just going to tweak this chart a little bit. It's purely optional for you to do this, but I would highly recommend to play around with your graph to make sure that it has all the um, right uh, data. So we don't really need sales revenue because there's just one trend line. We can get rid of that. Oh, look at that. Um, the, the horizontal uh, numbers are incorrect. This should be years. So what we need to do is change this data. You select the chart, right click, and select data. And these are the one, two, three, four, five, six. We obviously want these numbers to be actually years. To do this, click edit. Now Excel is asking us for the range of these years. Just simply select them and click OK. And look at that. Awesome. We have all of the information that we need. Another thing that uh, you might want to do is go up to Layout, Data Labels, and pick one of these. For me, I'm going to pick Above. What that does is actually uh, puts the figure on top of the trend line. You can obviously pick other ones if you want to. You can insert it below or any in center, whatever you want to. The idea is just to pick up the concept and apply it as you want to. Now, what I'm going to do is add a trend line. To add a trend line, select your um, little blue line, go up to layout, trend line, more trend line options, and you want to pick a linear trend line. There's also an option in Excel which helps you forecast or draw a trend line into the future. To do that, simply tell Excel the number of periods that you want it um, to forecast in terms of the trend line. In this particular case, I'll make it two and click close. Look at that. Excel has actually um, drawn a, an extended the trend line into the future, saying that two years from 2012, you'll probably be looking at close to $80 million in sales revenue. Another thing that you can do is add a moving average. To do that, you click on trend line and you pick two periods moving average. This basically, what it does is it picks the previous period um, and takes an average of two periods and draws a line out of it. The idea here is to take this series of data that you have and analyze it to come up with rather informative information and be, and really to analyze and visually see the data to take and make business decisions.